welcome back to my channel and we're still joined by two guests here we are currently leaving the island of gozo headed back to the main island of malta we highly suggest visiting gozo it is a very quiet relaxed laid back vibe so i don't know how long you can stay there without getting bored but we thoroughly enjoyed our time before we get into the day, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, send some love. It's free, it costs you nothing, and really helps to keep us traveling and keep this channel going. Anything to add, ladies? Like and subscribe. <laughs> um, give us the money to keep traveling in Malta and all over Europe. <laughs> Mostly Anna, but we benefit too. Like they will benefit from your support. Um, also, we took a bolt down again from our Airbnb to the ferry. We thought we missed the nine o'clock ferry, but turns out the ferry was late. So we got the 9.07-ish ferry. And then we'll be taking a bus from uh, Chikiwa to <laughs> Salima, which is about another hour bus ride. So it's gonna be another long day before we arrive at our hostel. Traveling with two bags of food because we bought a bunch and of groceries. Also, cat fell rock climbing and fractured her arm as well. So. so actually just bouldering. If you're gonna get into the sport of rock climbing, don't boulder, not safe. Use your ropes because you'll last longer out there. Just don't rock climb like me and you don't get also injured. Fracture your wrist. Yeah. <laughs> Together now. Comment if you want to see more workout <laughs> tutorials while traveling. You can always use this. And then if you want some more, some more weight, you just throw it in the tissue. You just put your other bags on. Get a suitcase on there, Anna. Hold the suitcase. <laughs> From our hostel post. A bakery from 1967. <laughs> I'm gonna get one like I can only do. I got bread on the way home. Could I have one of the cannolis? Yes. That's good. <laughs> I got a strawberry jam. Tart and cat got a cannoli. It a was a ricotta cannoli. What's well, ricotta inside? It is. It's it is. apparently what the bakery is known for. So Katie and I excited. dipped out on the cheese <laughs> for this <Yeah>. time. <laughs> Want a bite sting? Yeah, eat it. Do it. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm in my palm. Okay, eat yours, cat. Mm -hmm. Ooh, super That's soft good. dough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it cheesy delicious? That is worth every cent I spent on this cannoli. This was 80 cents. Which was 2 euros, but it is worth it, I will say. It was like a full meal in that cannoli. <laughs> it is stuffed. Hey, turn around. Hey, Lenny. Hello. Turn around. <laughs> we are in Malta. Just exploring down the promenade, we are in the Salima neighborhood which is hyper-developed compared to Gozo. Definitely a lot of apartments, either for rent or hotels to our right. And then to my left, we have a very blue crystal clear water marina, which looks like a lot of fishing traps and small anchors are set up. And it's toasty today. We've got our sunscreen on. They're hiding, but it's warm. all the 
way to Valletta. When I say all the way, it's about 30 minutes, but our plan is just to explore as we walk. So you can walk along the promenade or the boardwalk, which follows the beautiful marina and harbor. There is so many boats here and it just kind of zigzags around and then eventually you kind of get to the peninsula that is Valletta. Pretty cool because these stairs they've actually built a ramp through that so you can see how things are on an angle it's accessible to go all the way up because they built it on an angle are we recording action it's katie and kat here we've hijacked the vlog we hijacked the vlog <laughs> anna so. is approaching Right now we're all a bit tired, so we stopped for some ice coffee. I will say we're a bit tired after like an hour walk trying to get from Sliema to uh, Valletta. It's longer than you would think. We're gonna take the ferry back across because it's probably like a 10 minute ferry ride yeah. instead of an hour long walk back. So, yeah, it's kind of unheard of to walk from town to town, but we like to push the limits. And, and right cheap. now we are at the Park Coast, the city cafe bar. And stay tuned, we might get a croissant and a shirt. And coffee, definitely. 100%. That is a necessity. And, a necessity. and this is the master, and she doesn't look too impressed that we stole the whole. <laughs> Library of Malta which is in Valletta. It is free to enter. We have no footage from the inside but it is one of the coolest rooms you will ever enter. There is books from the 1700s, leather bound, just immaculate to see books still together. Um, it's free to enter and it's a good thing to do. And Anna didn't want to go into it and now she's <laughs> vlogging about it. Yeah, because I didn't think it would be cool, and then I realized I've never actually entered a library room like that before. And now I'm suggesting you to do it so you know that you should go. It's very cool. The reason you can't film, I think, is because of the flash and the books are so well protected. Um, a lot of them you can see like they're falling apart, and uh, most of those old books are all written in Latin, which is very interesting. So most people these days wouldn't be able to read them. I learned this all because I went on a library tour in England that was very similar to what we just saw. But it was like a huge room full of these leather bound books and they have the old school like ladders that you can slide across the bookshelves so cool to see Definitely. there's even a section that you can't even go into because researchers are currently probably observing those books um, but just yeah for, for free 99 it's pretty sick and it takes about 15 minutes to do if you're looking for the embassy of canada in malta we found it for you Tres amigos. Amazing. What do we think, girls? Best Mind part of Malta. Well. I've it was amazing. They lost the Battle of the Rose against the Turks, and in 1530, the King of Spain gave them Malta. Well, they settled in, things started going quite well, population starts growing. In 1765, big battle with the Turks, by miracle, it was victory here. Yeah. It poured into Malta, various parts of Europe, and eight languages of nine, I told you. Their own houses and things, and able to build again. 
their city. Mm. And they will build Valletta. Up, in Rome, said his best architect, the designer wall. It was incredible. Mm. Then he started building houses after. After about the uh, Martin Bank, when he built Colonia, the Admiral, who had lived in this house, that it was a bit of a fear. He had grown. This tiny little island became a force, one of the biggest neighbors in the Mediterranean. And next up, the people who had been fighting in Europe, because Europe often fought each other, when they were here, they weren't allowed, they had to behave, behave properly as friends, they had to fight for Christendom and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. When the Admiral moved to the bigger house, this was served to a Maltese family. And this has been the Maltese house for well over 200 years. I'm mm going -hmm. to introduce you to some members of the family. This is a family tree in photographs. It's quite fun to do these things. <laughs> um, you've got one brother and four sisters in the later generation. You may notice the brother has changed very slightly <laughs> over the years. <laughs> Up we go, father and mother. Mother's mother and then her father, who was an artist. He was Italian, of Neapolitan origin. His father had come over to live in Malta and a lot of that happened. He sometimes used his lovely daughter as his model. Ooh. And we've got photographs of her. <laughs> On this side, father's mother. It's quite important for us on the stool because mm. she was a bit of a connector. Little hearts on the top. Yeah. One heart has an arrow sticking out. That's the pain of love. Mm. And the other heart has fire coming out of it. That's passion. So mm. if a boy gave one of those to a girl, it was a proposal. Mm. Oh. But if they gave the one with the it arrow? Says, it's on both. The arrow, so. look. Represents ah, the pain okay. yes, yes, of his yes. love, ah. and the fire represents the passion. Okay. So he is telling her, you know, you're mine. I want you. Please marry me. We do not open this every day, but as I'm the only one allowed to open it, I'm going to show you a bit of the inside. Ooh. It opens like, can you hold this for me? Same <laughs> job. Just, 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 just that. Let me open this side. Imagine this coming onto the floor. There's an altar at the back which you pull out just a bit, so this goes on top. Mm. And this would be covered, of course, in lovely lace. Mm -hmm. You have a very nice chapel. And then when it's all over, you've done your service, whatever, you close it down again. Mm -hmm. And your room goes back to being a normal room. It's a curiosity. Introduced poudre de riz, rice powder, makeup. Everybody was putting powder, and your hair would be white with the powder. You can see, it's probably about 20. Uh, and this is one of two dining rooms I'm going to show you. We call this the winter dining room. The furniture has nothing to do with more. The furniture came from Florence. When our family was much more prosperous, uh, we used to have a house in Florence. This furniture came from the Florence house. It is not easy to use. The chairs are very heavy and well carved. When you sit down, you sit down. You don't get up again. You have to discern. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. But I think they're worth mentioning. A nice piece. Here we have the archives. And these were saved by my grandfather. The sedan chair was never used by a member of this family. This belonged to a knight of Malta. It was a present. It was ordered by the Grand Master, whose name was Pinto. He was from Portugal. And he gave it to the next most important person, who was the Captain General the galley ships, huh? This is a house you're in and it should show a bed. The bed is the matrimonial bed of our great grandmother. She had nine children, seven boys and two girls who all lived. One is becoming a saint. You have a picture by our great grandfather on my mother's side. He lived in a period. 
where tragedy as a subject for art was very much in fashion. Right. My father and mother looked at each other. I think you can probably guess what they said. They said, what are we going to wear? To wear huh? And I'll show you the coronation photograph in another room. In the meantime, I must mention these two stools in Westminster Abbey at the coronation. This is where they sat down on these very stools. And then the Queen gave permission for them to take them as a souvenir of the occasion. This room was not here. This is our room. Nike. When Grandpapa brought electricity to the house for the first time, and it did not even strike him as important to put electricity in the rooms. The newspaper which came out the next day, but on the front page, look at the headlines. Mm. Not very nice, huh? Mm. Everybody was very worried. If you're feeling young, I want to go to the bottom of the well mm. and go down from here. I'm going to be up here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going down to the bottom of the well that his grandfather built during the war. Sure. No, before the war. Before In the war. He had a feeling there was going to be a war. <laughs> really slippery to Yeah. He said it wasn't open when he was a kid. He wasn't allowed down. Oh, He said 150 people fit down here. I said, did you play down here as a kid? He said, no, it was all fucked up. So saying that he built these corridors, or his grandfather built a corridor zigzag so that if a blast came through, it wouldn't go straight through, but rather it would get deflected. And it's been an amazing tour to have the great grandfather of the noble family. He's over 80. It's been so special to have a special touch on this tour and hear stories about his life, his family, and generations before him. He said, wait for him. Is that? Yes. This must be it. Turtle, show me that you're living. <gasps> he just blinked at me. <laughs> They've been eating. No, no. They've just started eating. They don't eat for six months. For six months? Nothing. Bye. 
I'll just hello. Hello. Hola. Show how flexible you are. Yes, we we'll have to. <laughs> Amazing. What do we think, girls? Best Mind part of Malta. Well. I've it was amazing. So cool. Such a unique experience to have someone living in their home that has belonged to their family for years and also offer history, personal stories, rich lessons, has been around, seen his parents do things, and kept it going. So we highly suggest you visit. It's five euros for students, 15 euros for adults, but basically your money keeps his family home open and the history of Malta alive and we learned a lot more about there used to be eight nights or nine nights? Eight nights and they each brought like a different language and different culture which is why I guess Valet and or Maltese goods are so highly valued because they shared so much knowledge to make something really good. And it makes it a little bit more sense why the food's kind of a mix and you see French and Italian and the words like bonjour is apparently good morning which sounds French also Italian so highlight make sure you take a visit. We're gonna go find dinner because we're now we're hungry. And some drinks. <laughs> and I want to go for April spritz or two. <laughs> Let's go find food. Do you cheers when you like have you cheers yourself? yourself. <laughs> we'll bring it one, over to Anna's other one. One, two, three, cheers. <laughs> oh no, I lost my I love April Fritz. It's happy hour right now, so you get one mojito. Buy one, get one free, but you get them at the same time. They're made decently Ooh, strong, yeah. yeah. For a happy hour, too. I thought they'd strip out. Oh, yeah, that's... That's a mojito. Now that is happy hour. We got... <laughs> Kat and I got mojitos, and Katie got... Oh, you're good. No, it's all good. I just felt why I did that. Unless you want to be featured. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not from Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We are from Notre Dame. We are finishing our evening, going, looking on our British sure. accents, oh, but in real talk, we've just had, oh, we just missed it. We kind of did a mixed dinner, so we took advantage of happy hour, and we had a trio of bruschetta and a little tzatziki dip, and then we also shared a pizza later in the food court, which a quick tip, the food court in Valletta has free bathrooms, so we've maximized that a couple times. And <laughs> one moment, Kat thinks this is the ferry terminal. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you while I walk downstairs. <laughs> we are taking now the ferry back from... Okay, you two down there. I'm trying to finish the night, okay? One moment. We are just finishing the night. We're taking the ferry back from Valletta to Salima, which is a... a Euro 50 again, a dollar 50 or a Euro 50. Um, so we're taking, which is this, Katie, we're taking the ferry back because it's the same price as the bus and it's going to cut us down because where we're staying is really close to um, the ferry terminal. And instead of walking or bolting, but it still seems like the transit here is good. It comes more often, but it's still not as often as we'd like. And the bus rides are about four times what would be driving, not twice as much, which is kind of what we're looking for. But like an eight minute bus, an eight minute car ride is about a 40 minute bus ride. So between the three of us, it's been, it's been making more sense to still bolt. And I realized on bolt, you can choose green cars so you can choose electric cars versus gas cars for the same price which i'm really appreciative of bolt for doing so thank you bolt if you ever see this video for making a green choice more accessible to us but <laughs> i've got to catch up with the kids they're already all the way up there we're gonna end the vlog here tonight we might go have one more beverage and i'm gonna take advantage of being with two great girls my sister and her friend and have a beverage and enjoy our evening and enjoy the sunset because solo traveling, I don't get to do this very often. And we will catch you tomorrow, which I think the girls are going to the catacombs. I'm gonna work and in the afternoon, might be a beach day. Thanks for following. And before we end the night, hit that subscribe button. I'm just waiting. You're pausing, looking at the sunset. Did you hit subscribe? Great, thanks. Have a good night, we'll see you in the next one.
What happened, Kat? So there's a there's a small issue here that Google isn't always up to date. You guys were doubting me on my abilities to find fairy, which I will have to say was an error because we are here. However, and right now, currently, we thought, Google told me there was an eight o'clock fairy. I was like, perfect, well, we're having a pizza, we'll go for the eight o'clock fairy. We got here, if we look at the schedule, it's currently still winter hours till the end of May, and uh, the last fairy was about half an hour ago, so it's gonna be a bolt kind of night, I think. <laughs> So we see we're in winter scheduled till May 31st and the last one was 7.30 and 7.15. But in summer, it goes much later all the way until midnight. I think the thing we're gonna do tonight is just catch a bolt home so we can oh, go oh, finally oh. check into our hostel. And drink a little bit more, maybe have a couple of desserts. So we're gonna check out how much bolt costs. Like Ten, 10.70. That's not bad. What do you think about that? I think that's fine because it's gonna take us like probably an hour and a half, honestly, to get home by the bus. At least, yeah. I think so. that's wonderful, quite lovely. <laughs> so it's looking like we'll be bolting tonight. Okay, quite lovely. <laughs> oh, it's already recording. Yeah, I pressed it for you. We are in Salima. No, we. Hey guys. I don't know. Recording. Last thing to add, he did. Mm -hmm. I just talked to my camera like it's my friend. Oh, I'll like put my face down and put the camera face down. I zoom in on, on the bowl. Uh -huh. However, I'm muddy right now. <laughs> <laughs>